Right, so in this video, we're going to talk about a frozen shoulder. Um, now, what's interesting is, first of all, a frozen shoulder is not an injury. A frozen shoulder is effectively an autoimmune response where you get acute sensitization to the shoulder capsule, the, the sac around the joint inside, and it makes it very, very painful to move. So obviously over that first phase of the frozen shoulder, it's super painful. You don't move it that much because it hurts so bad. And then it starts to obviously get stiffer and stiffer and stiffer. And then obviously the autoimmune response dissipates and you can start to get your movement slowly coming back to normal, which means that it has a lifespan uh, it lasts for a certain period of time. The autoimmune response goes away. So this would mean that you would expect if you've got a frozen shoulder, the chance of recovery is 100%. However, the research on this shows that it's at 94%. Now, what I think this is down to is down to basically having pretty good range, pretty good function, but you basically think, oh yeah, I'm pretty much where I need to be. So you stop working it, stop stretching it, stop strengthening it, and therefore you don't continue that progression back to full normality. I don't think it's anything other than that, but it's all down to the individual pushing and carrying all that forwards. They also found that the time frame, uh, on average was between 15 and 20 months. So we already know a frozen shoulder lasts an awful long time. You know, basically 12 to 36 is kind of what they generally tout. Obviously this research found that on average it was 15 to 20. So this is, you know, we know already it's a long standing problem, um, but it shows you have a very good likelihood of recovery. If not 100%, certainly 94%. But I think it's down to you in that final phase, trying to push and push and push and get everything back to normal, which is down to obviously the right exercise and the right sort of approach, you know? So anyway, that's a, a, just a research paper on that. Um, but that's it for this video and I'll see you next time.